Hey guys, and welcome to another Heart to Home devotional. My name is Mitchell, and I wanted to just share with you out of a collection of scriptures and uh, godly wisdom that I have gleaned from various studies throughout the past few days. And, I, and the major theme I wanted to get at here was our purpose and whether we're seeking the riches of this world or seeking the riches of his kingdom. So before we get started, let's open up an word of prayer. Dear God, I thank you for what you've done for us, for giving us purpose on this earth. I pray, Lord, that you would guide us in the, the way that you would have us to go and make it clear as day the way that you have for us. I pray, Lord, that you would just speak to our hearts right now and that we would just love you in every way, that we would turn away from our own foolish and, and, and wicked ways, that we would just be completely devoted and wholehearted for you. In Jesus' name. In Psalms chapter 90, verse 10 through 12, we read, The days of our lives are 70 years, and if by reason of strength they are 80 years, yet their boast is only labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Gain a heart of wisdom. I wanted to share you guys that and uh, a few other verses, giving you the perspective uh, of, yes, our days are numbered on this earth. And uh, I've often thought of this verse in, in the, the, the light of, I need to be productive with my time on the earth. I need to be seeking first the kingdom. And I'm gonna touch on that later as well. But I need to be doing the work of the Lord. But I believe it also, and I, I, I I got a new perspective recently. It also extends a little further than that. And that perspective is, if you were to die right now, would you say that you were thinking about the Lord and how to please him? Or would you be found wanting in scheming? And in scheming in a way that you really may not even catch yourself. Not like the kind where you're scheming to build an empire via scamming a bunch of people. But I'm talking about the things you don't catch. You may not catch yourself thinking about it uh, until the Lord reveals it to you in the areas that you have been a little too focused on something. What will I do to get this raise? To get this new car? To get into a relationship goal that I've been seeking for? I, 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 me, me, me. And so on and so forth it goes. Sure, these possessions aren't bad things themselves, but are they what we live our lives for? Are they our purpose? In John chapter 4, verse 34 through 38, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me, and to finish his work. Do you not say there are still four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. And he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life, that both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this this saying is true. One sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap, for which you have not labored. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labors. So Jesus is commanding us here and his disciples to be ready, to be active. It's time to, to reap. It's time to be about the harvest. And so we're to be ready and to be active. I believe that if we truly examine ourselves today, we will probably probably find a few areas where we've taken our focus off our true purpose and began seeking silver and gold rather than laboring in the works of God. In 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 7 through 8, we see that we truly have what we need for our everyday lives. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain that we can carry nothing out, and we ha and have and having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. And we see here that we, the Lord, we are to be content with what the Lord has given us, with our foods and our clothing. For truly, we never brought anything into this world, and our only purpose was to glorify the Lord as we were here. We cannot take anything. We cannot take uh, a car. We cannot take a house. We cannot take a relationship into heaven because our only purpose on this earth is to have a relationship with God and to be about his business. So we have what we need for our lives here on earth, but 
maybe you still want to be seeking something. Maybe you you find yourself, oh, but now now I don't know what to do. Well, Matthew six chapter six verse thirty three gives us this. He says, "But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you." Now this is an eternal these this is eternal riches, to be seeking first the kingdom of God and to um, be about that because the kingdom of God is eternal and all these earthly possessions, as I said, will pass away. So we find uh, that our eternal riches are found in the kingdom of God and in his righteousness and that we will in turn have a heart of wisdom as we read in Psalm chapter 90. We will be ready and active for the work of the Lord giving us joy and peace and we will have all that the Lord has promised to us in, in, in all joy and all um, in all things. So I wanted to share with you guys that. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Again, it's not scheming but reaping. We have the will of the Lord in our hearts and therefore we have what we want. And so all these things will be added unto us because we have the desire of the Lord in our hearts. So uh, let's so close out in a word of prayer. and uh, Dear God, I thank you for, again, what you've done for us, for giving us the will your will and showing it to us so that we can be content and that we can be pleased and and joyful in your work. I pray, Lord, that we would rejoice in the harvest and that you would just reveal to us those areas when we begin to start plotting and scheming for things that we really don't need. Lord, we want you and we need you. And that's the only thing we could ever need on this earth. I pray, Lord, that you would just continue to show us that. In Jesus' name, amen.